Hi everybody. So I thought I'd write a, or I'd do a little guide here about how to uh, edit Wiki if you're not super familiar with it. Um, it's not the most intuitive software <laughs> uh, to uh, utilize. Uh, it, it is actually identical to what uh, Wikipedia runs. Uh, they have a couple of enhancements and, and that sort of thing, but but basically it's it's exactly the same here as um, as any other. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same as Wikipedia runs. So. If you uh, if you pick something up here, well, you can start contributing to the actual Wikipedia or any other wiki uh, or any other wiki uh, that you might want to. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So so Bruce has um, graciously given a uh, uh, in addition to the fact that I'm going to add tonight. Um, so we're just going to navigate to the fact here, and we're going to edit. And to add a new page. You do this. You put it inside uh, double brackets, and so in this case, it's how do I maintain my slide? And then you save your changes. And oh, and actually, what I should have done there is is made a um, made a summary for that. Um, I'm going to approve this because I'm the one doing it, but that really helps us moderate. So if you do put a or if, if if you could please do put a summary in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that real quick. Uh, on the other screen here, so bear with me for a second. And there it is. I approved it. So now you click on it, and now this is a new uh, this is a new page in the wiki. So that's that's uh, sort of how you create the structure. It's um, it's it, it's basically you nest it however you want it to, um, but something always has to link to it for it to exist, basically. Uh, so, without further ado, I, so Bruce has given me a really well formatted Word document, but unfortunately, it, uh, the syntax for Wiki is um, a weird mixture of markdown, latex, and like not HTML, but like form HTML. It's, it's really, really quite strange. Um, but once you get the swing of things, it's not too hard. So, right here, I've put this in equal signs. And if you come down here to show preview, it actually shows you what it's going to look like before you hit submit. So you can see here I've now made a, a title out of it. And you can do that with subheadings too. So standard uh, format in Wiki is to have like a summary section right below the main header. And then you have the second section right here. Here's say hand slide. So, you know, um, actually it's just, if you look for the Wikipedia on trombone, for example, you know, it shows you this table of contents and that sort of thing. So um, that's why we do it this way. And the preview doesn't actually show that, but um, that it, that something similar to that will pop up here once we get everything taken care of. So uh, let's go ahead and format this a little bit. So we can see here that we have lists. Lists are denoted by doing a pound sign, and then sub lists are denoted by doing double pound. So let me show you what that looks like. So we have a list and then a nested list. Unfortunately, the way Bruce did this, it was A and B instead of one and two for the sub list, which is frankly much more um, uh, uh, easy to follow, uh, much easier to follow. But in this case, uh, we actually, um, as far as I know, there's no way to, to do that specifically. So um, uh, there might be, and in which case we can edit some of these. So that's not hard of a change. That's one of the nice things about Wikipedia. So um, let's go ahead and do a little more formatting. So you'll see here there's this bold icon. What that does is it, you could do this just by typing it. So you have the three quotation marks. That's going to give you bold. And then you have to close the, the boldness there. Okay, so let's uh, finish some of this up here. Oh, and one thing you'll notice here, let me show you, show you what happens if you do it that way. So let's say I put an extra line right here. That's actually going to mess us up. So you see, it, it, we come back down here and it gives us one and then one. What that actually is doing is because there's a line break here, or a return key, an enter key, and it's, it, it creates that spare line, it thinks that we're trying to make a new list and the first element is part of the sub list. So it's doing like one and then the sub list one, sub list two, sub list three. Um, so if we delete this though, we have no spare line there. Hey, suddenly it's back to being one and then two within the sub list. Um, okay. So let's do that. 
make these bold. Bear with me for one second here while I get this all formatted nice. Okay, and then same thing here. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then, let's see, examples. Ah, so we have a sub sub list. So let's do that. Something like this. There we go. There's probably a better way to format that, but um, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, but um, it'll be fine for the time being because bold the silicones. Okay, uh, uh, this is, uh, okay, so that's, uh, I'll flag that later, so I'll show you how to do that in another video. Okay, so tuning slide. Four. Like that. Okay, and we'll make that bold. Occurs to me I probably should have paused this. But I'm too far in now to do this again, so uh, fortunately I'm almost done here. He's only got a rotor uh, list after this. So actually, and that'll be a good uh, good segue, because then I will show everybody how to edit uh, a link to something, because sometimes the contents uh, change, or maybe you discover there's a better way to describe the thing that you that your article does. So we'll just finish this up here real quick. And then I will show you how to do that. Bold. Oops. Ah, uh, yes, and tabs are a bit of an issue too. Um, they can cause problems with spacing. So I highly recommend you, you stick to um, spaces. Okay, so here's where we do the summary. So this is added um, rotor, tuning slide, and hand slide information. Or information about tuning rotor, rotaries. Let's just say valve, valve sections, tuning slides, and hand slides. It's pretty descriptive. Okay, so go ahead and hit save. All right, and again, don't freak out. You're going to think, oh man, there's no text in this page, but that's because I haven't approved it, or one of the moderators hasn't approved it. So let me just do that real quick. New changes away moderation. Oh, really? Well, let me see what it is. Oh, hey, it's the thing about hand slides. Approve. And voila, there it is. All nice and formatted. And so, ah, see, pending review. So, your edit has been sent to moderation. So, actually, um, it says to skip moderation, please sign up. Uh, we would prefer you sign up anyway. You'll notice I'm actually technically not logged in at the moment. So, we can submit, but it makes it a lot easier if you're specifically um, associated with the, um, with the changes you make because. Uh, you know, I, I trust Bruce, and, and um, I actually haven't <laughs> proofread this whole thing yet, but um, I will in a second here. Uh, but we're, we're going to proofread everything that goes through, uh, any edits you make and that sort of thing. So after a certain period of, uh, uh, after a history of um, high quality contributions, there's a way to get auto-moderated. Um, but uh, we don't have that feature enabled yet because we don't really <laughs> have that much contribution. So if this becomes a popular feature and more people start editing and, and that becomes a, an issue, then we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and introduce that feature. So okay, let me go back and show you how to edit this page then. That's in the fact.
We'll just call that trombone for now. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, there's a better way to do this, sorry. Uh, we'll do this in a second. So you actually go into here and edit. No, I'm sorry, I was, I was right in the first place. So actually, this is a little more complicated, so I'm actually gonna show that to you later. Um, there's also another thing that I should show you when you're logged in, but so that's the general workflow for getting um, getting a, a page edited, and I'll come out with some other videos here in a couple minutes uh, describing some of the other workflows.